Normally, I don't talk at this point. I just kind of give it about seven to ten seconds and then go into it. But the thing is, nobody seems to know what Candace Owens is talking about. I've watched about five or six different videos, and everyone keeps saying, what is she talking about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? And I'm like, why don't you pay attention to the subject? And literally, it sounds like they don't know what she means, what she's doing, what she's really saying. And then they ask, why are you doing this? Why is that happening? And as, and then try to explain it to the audience, but don't necessarily say much of anything. And, you know, you know, and those people, they're never going to see this anyway. It don't matter. But at the same time, you know, truthfully, what's going to happen is eventually somebody will get it. You know, maybe somebody will get it. And. They are on the right side, you know, they are. And that's that's good. I just wish they could help out a little bit better. I really do. Um, I just, uh, whoo. So I guess we'll, I'll just get right on into it. You know, it's it's already been a minute. So uh, click the right one here. Okay. So, all right. So explaining Candace Owens' tweet. All right. So, and what she wrote, uh, was Ahmaud Aubrey was caught on camera breaking into an unfinished property that was owned by Larry English. His mother has confirmed it is him in the video. Please stop with the just a jogger bullshit narrative. Avid joggers don't wear khaki shorts and stop to break into homes. Okay. Now, um, let's just... The thing is... You, People got a general sense on what she's doing and why she's doing it. Um, but they don't really understand the mechanics so much, you know, not necessarily. And the ones that do, they got a vague idea and that's great. But um, I guess I'll just go through it, try to go through it quickly. So um, basically what she's just done is be a litigator and she basically just try to destroy, you know, the, the opposition. That's what she did. I mean, you know, courts held publicly before held in court these days. So, all right. So let's go ahead and go ahead and deep dive it real quick. So Ahmad Aubrey was caught on camera breaking into an unfinished property that was owned by Larry English. Okay. That is statement. That is not speculation. That is not alleged. Um, so a B and E breaking an entry, uh, entry, you know, okay, owned by Larry English. So by the fact that she's saying it was owned by Larry English, it gives validity to the home was owned and it was in, you know, it's, it's owned and um, Aubrey was not invited in and whatnot. That's what that is doing. And then caught saying that he is guilty um, beyond any, you know, by any, any doubt whatsoever. Okay. And then saying, okay, on camera. So you're saying you can't deny it, you know? So, Hey, you know, and then saying unfinished, the point of saying unfinished property is saying, yeah, it's owned, but he didn't even have the decency to break into something that was finished. He was so evil, so vile, so selfish. He could not wait to go break in and, Th that's pretty much it. Just break in. Um, that's that. That was the point of that sentence. That sentence says a lot. Okay. Then it says his mother has confirmed it is him on the video. So what that does is it supports the sort of appeal to authority kind of thing of the camera and then the ownership of Larry English. Um, and saying, hey, his mom said it's him in the video. Therefore, it was him that broke in, did this vile act, and put other people's lives probably at risk and stuff. You know, that's usually an undertone that goes on. So then it says, please start with just a jogger bullshit narrative. Okay. So the video that people normally see that was first released was him running down the street. Um, you know, just, just running. And then somebody, you know, you'd see the truck pull over, cut, cut him off a little bit. They get out, there's the argument, tussle, gun, you know, fighting to get the gun, shot dead. Okay, so, 
it's probably Benjamin Dixon tweeting. Um, I don't know, probably get about three, four more minutes. I'll say, okay, so, so please stop with just a jogger. It's insane. When people say the word just right before something, it's just this or it's just that. It's, they're saying it's simply this and it's nothing to worry about. It's something so simple, there's nothing to add to it. It is basically that simple and it's practically benign. Um, and people do that a whole lot of, with a whole lot of things, you know, for ex example, something that you can see in everyday life is when somebody messes up and they'll say it was just one time or it was just this time only, or it was just a few times, you know, something like that. Um, and clearly the term bullshit narrative is, is clear. Okay. Avid joggers don't wear khaki shorts and stop to break into homes. All right. So the avid joggers thing, basically, look, if you're someone that jogs all the time, like an avid reader and whatnot, you know, she's saying you don't wear khaki shorts, okay, and conflates that with, you know, stopping the breaking into homes. So there's still the whole, you broke in and, you know, you committed this crime, you know, it's pretty much it. You committed this crime, okay. So she also, you know, and the whole don't wear khaki shorts, uh, some people don't have these professional level jogging pants and I have gone in, you know, my youth, well, younger youth, I've gone jogging in kind of cargo and khaki shorts and jean shorts and pants, jeans, sweatpants, heavy sweatpants, you know, I've gone jogging in practically damn near everything play basketball for hours on end and come running back in a pair of damn pants you know not not dress slacks or anything like that because that's something i really did not care to own uh but yeah and that was common i mean that's like really common in the south you know it's not like the beverly hills people that you know you have to buy the proper attire to go jogging other than that you have not jogged properly no it's not like that so what she's doing is um, when she says the advent joggers don't wear khaki shorts, what she's doing is discrediting him. So it's like so he goes out there in the khaki shorts. He wasn't out there just for a run, a jog or to get out the house for a little bit and break the cabin fever. No, it was, you know, to actually what she's saying is he went out running and jogging to go break into a home. That was the whole point of it. So. This whole thing by Candace Owens is basically saying that the entire intent and motive was for him to break in to these people, this person's home. Now, a lot of people are like, okay, why would she make this statement? Candace Owens, uh, look, I'm going to keep it real. I am going to keep it one million percent real and y'all going to hate this shit. But... Every black person out there, they can't wait to talk about the one thing. The one thing, man, you make it, man. Then we all make it, man. Yeah, we're going to help each other out. We're going to do this. But the truth is, and they'll say when they get, you know, chill with their homies and stuff like that, they'll say, man, if I get a million dollars, I'm getting up out of here, man. I don't care about none of this. I don't, man, I'm leaving all this behind. When they say all this, it means the, the house, the lawn, the crap rent or mortgage, the, the repairs that need um, and the people too, leaving all that crap behind. They ain't taking nothing with them. All right. And if they can, they leave their old clothes behind too. They might take some little keepsakes and stuff like that, some knickknacks, but they're going to like, they're going to abandon life. <laughs> Give me some money and I'm gone is pretty much what they're saying. So Candace Owens probably came from i don't know she probably came from some well to do or maybe poor stuff and worked her way up um i remember the first time i heard of it she was exceedingly progressive she was all about anything positive and you know taking up the mantle for black people and talking about the fight against racism and stuff and she had a grand following she got a really big following um you know, at the time, at the time when progressives were still very new. Um, well, actually, the resurgence of progressive progressive had been around before. And so what happened was when you have other places that know how to market, because, 
yeah, progressives, but they're capitalists. And those companies know how to market. They'll take your viewers. It will. That's, you know, that's what happens. YouTube is just a bunch of TV channels. You're going to find your five or six that you like. Um, so, but her following was still, the, those loyal ones, there were a lot. And she got a lot of, she, a lot of people talked about her, but not many people was watching her. So, this, she uh, got, made, she got some offers and transitioned to be on the side of the right wing. And that's where you're going to get a whole lot more money. Because if you're going to tear down your own people, your own race, and your own movement, they are going to pay you lots of money to do it. Ask Dave Rubin. <laughs> ask Dave Rubin. You know, ask Lou Dobbs. When I first watched Lou Dobbs, he was just, you're playing good old Democrat talking about doing good for the people and stuff. And then he just got sick of it and he realized where the money is and he can talk that Republican talk all day long where he makes more money. That's the, that's the goal. She got her money and she was like, I'm gone. I don't want to know you. I don't want to see you. I abandoned home and I maybe took a few knickknacks and that's it. And them knickknacks are the loyal followers. That's like, you know what? We black, but you know what? Black people suck too. We agree with you because, you know, we're just loyal. You know, that's that's it. So that's what Candace Owen is doing. That's why she did it. That's the point of it. You know, and I really wish people stopped asking, you know, what are you talking about? Because it's the subject matter, you know. You don't hear me say it on my show. You don't hear me say that. You don't hear me ask that, you know, arbitrary or, or redundant or rhetorical question because I know the subject. I know what's going on. I usually know why it's going on. And, you know, I just find that it sounds dumb when people ask that question. And, yeah, you know, it's been explained to me um, by two other people. And I get it to an extent. But when you have listeners that are not really understanding the situation, but what needs to happen is you need to stop asking that redundant, arbitrary question. You know, I know it's become a, a colloquial, but at the same time, they're listening. So when you're like, what are you talking about? It can throw them for a loop. It can severely throw them for a loop. I've seen it in the comment sections of these people with that annoyed me today. I saw it in their comment section. It was like, what, what's going on? You know, I, it's like I was on point, you know, especially when they're uh, premieres and stuff and that, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? And then some is like, what, what, what are we talking about now? Because it almost like be a subject change. I'm just throwing that out there. I'm letting everybody know exactly what goes on. You know, I read, I read comments. I'm, you know, I'm in um, premieres of other people and stuff. You know, they know who they are and, and like two of them don't do premieres, period. Um, so... You know, in the comment section, nobody really talks about, for those, the ones that don't do it, they just don't even really talk about the comment. They don't really talk about the show. It's always something else. So, and, oh, also, when it comes to this, I also, um, this guy, you know, yeah, he, in the video I did last, um, my first video after a, a week or so break, it feels like two months I've been gone. But, you know, he posted a video and I'm like, Why? Because it led it to this, the truth about him. And I'm thinking the truth, the guy, you know, whatever, whatever was going on, did it really deserve him getting shot and killed unjustly, unprovoked? Because let me tell you something. The home was being renovated. Yeah, there were no doors. How is it a break in the entry if there are no doors? And if anybody's walking on the property, you just want, maybe, honestly, depends on what he was going to school for what his dreams and aspirations were, were he went inside and just looked. I've done that on many a property. Like, wow, this looks like this. This looks like that. Why is this here? Why is that there? No one to ask. So I'm just left in the dark. But I am extremely curious to the, the, the structure, the building, the wood used. What's it look like? The smell of the construction. You know, you can smell that fresh wood and stuff like that. And dude just stood there for like four minutes. And it's like, well, that's a mystery because he just stood there. Why would the news cut out those four minutes? Why would they condense it down to seven seconds? Because nobody will sit there and be like, hey, this news report, let's show him standing for four minutes. 
That's just dumb. You might as well condense it down to a few seconds and be like, that's all he did was stand there. And I, they showed him in there. What could he steal? What would he steal? That is of any importance. <laughs> so, yeah, people aren't asking the right questions. They're not even trying to see it the right way. And the entire, the entire point of this, of what Candace Owens, Candace Owens is doing, and anyone out there just trying to find the truth, um, and they're filing evidence against Ahmad. the reason they're doing this is because that's what they're programmed to do. And it's been that way for ages in this country, in the grand old U.S. of A. That's what it is. The whole point is to make sure you demonize a black person or any other minority and ultimately say that's just them they are thieves they are violent they are this whatever it is to demonize them because you know what in truth white people just can't be seen as bad they are literally just holier than thou just so grand and so pure but then if you get a black person doing something because see if a white person had went in there and stood he would have been seen as eccentric, strange, or something like that. And they would have been like, maybe he's got some mental hang-ups and he needs some help. But no, a black person going there, and now it's time to chastise and demonize it to the point of saying, hey, he went in there, he broke in, kill him. And that's what most people don't understand. So for those of you that might be just think you're just getting the truth, for you white people out there doing it, what you need to do is you need to really think about what you're actually doing. Because anything that you come up with, anything that you find does not condone blasting somebody in the chest and face with a shotgun. I think he was shot in the face. Either way, he was killed. Doesn't matter how, he was killed. Unjust, unprovoked. If somebody come into my home and steals something, I'm not going to shoot them dead. That makes no sense. It's an item, it's material, it can be replaced. They should be put in prison, put in, you know, and all this other stuff. I get that. But let me tell you something. There are people out there that keep saying, if this was a white person, you know, that wouldn't have happened. But if it was a black person that, you know, went and killed somebody, they would have been put in prison like that, that moment, that same day, not 70 some days later. No, you need to stop that. You need to tell the truth. The black person would have got shot and killed. They've been killed for far less, for far longer and think of how many people have black people have died just before him and after him that will not get reported. How many people are grieving because these white racists just got to be their good old boys and do what they do. You need to put that into perspective. So when you make your videos and you try to get the truth and all this other stuff, no matter what truth you can uncover, he could have broke in, ejaculated all over the place. That still does not condone killing him. You know, just wait until one day you push black people far enough and they start firing back. Just wait. Then you're going to think somebody did you wrong. So you need to get a handle on it and stop this systemic racist crap that you've been propagating and pushed into doing without thinking about what's happening. Because I think some of you just don't understand what you're doing. And I'm going to give that little bit. That's it. But I got to get up out of here. Commenting stuff, all like that, sharing all that. Cedric Kennedy, comparative reasoning, and legit honestly saying thank you for listening.